What up everybody, we're back in Fontana today. Um, it's early in the morning. I thought I'd get out here because definitely got a couple other things I need to do today. But Rob's out here, he's doing his yard work. So I thought I'd figure, hey, let's get a little more work done on Adio Cars P10. Uh, as you know, last time I showed you guys, it did have an exhaust leak uh, in the front when we started it on initially. So that we were able to mend or are about to. I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed. This is the um, exhaust gasket for the primary where it connects to the secondary on the Fujitsubo header. So I'll get that replaced. Another thing that we're going to do is I'm going to remove the VE MAF and this pop charger, just put in the stock DE MAF and the stock ECU back in it, um, just so it can be drivable. Um, we're gonna tow this car to my house and from there, it's gonna go get aligned at West End Alignment. And with the stock ECU and MAF, I'll be able to drive it over to the uh, tuner shop and then it'll get tuned on the NIST tune with the VE MAF. And it's gonna be all right after that. It should be ready for delivery for that Adil car to go ahead and pick up his VE N1 three inch exhaust. Uh, pretty much new control arms, new, uh, ball joints, new bushings, new uppers, new... This car has got everything pretty much new and gone through it. The motor is completely sealed with a complete VE seal kit from G-Spec Performance, uh, which is all OEM, G-Spec Performance pulley, water pump pulley. Um, so everything on this car is pretty much gone in new. Uh, AC works, which is good. So I'll go ahead and get that done. Really, Rob? <laughs> Keep doing what you do, bro. Um, so we'll go ahead and get that done today. I will put the skid plate back on. So, of course, Baker stopped. I'll put the stock ECU back on. I'll get the Nistune one off. And a uh, deal car. One thing I do like is your extension here for your shifter. You can barely see it, but it's there. Uh, there is one rear hub for the driver's side that needs to be replaced. So we're going down the wire here. It's, it's coming really down the finish line, so not too much left to be done here. Uh, other than the little maintenance things, then just the tuning and the alignment, so that'll get done on a later episode uh, video that we'll post up. Uh, but first, I'll try to get as much done today as I really got to get to a very important appointment. You guys will see what that is later on down the road. And that'll be that. So I'll try not to crash into Rob's B14 here. It's too clean for me to scratch it. I don't want to give it any door dings. So I'll go ahead and get to work on that. Keep watching again if you like what we do like and subscribe to our videos i really appreciate all you guys and if you're not getting the notifications on when our new videos are coming up just go ahead and click on the notification button on our channel so you can get notified when our new videos are up um i know it doesn't always happen but again click on it i'll post a picture like right around here around my head uh of what that little no notification button looks like click on it so you know not to miss any new videos. So <clears throat> I noticed a little bit of a, a difference between the old gasket. And as you can see, there was exhaust escaping around the sides here and that was causing all that noise. It was pretty bad. It's worse on the backside. But I got these uh, Remflex gaskets. Um, they're quite thicker because they crush into place. So if you want to go ahead and compare one to the other, as you can see, um, they're torqued down to, uh, I believe, 20 foot-pounds, and that'll crush them right into place, filling in any gaps and avoiding any exhaust leaks. So that's what I'm replacing it with, and these are Fujitsubo specific. I'm not sure if it's for another vehicle, if it's another vehicle as well, but just in case anybody has a Fuji header out there, here's the part number, here's the information. Don't mind the lawnmower in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and finish installing this thing. There's the gasket all nicely installed. As you can see, it has a little, a little girth, um, but it's not too substantial. But again, it's because the gasket does, is a little thicker, like I showed you guys earlier, and uh, it will crush a little bit, just enough to seal up any, any holes. 
And I noticed some guys, you're gonna notice that orange silicone around all the pans and everything like that. But just so you know, that came in the OEM seal kit. So that is OEM orange Nissan uh, silicone. Uh, but yeah, so that's the seal. It's in. I'm gonna go ahead and put the skid plate back on and uh, go ahead and change the math out, put the stock ECU in it, and we will turn it on and get this thing out of here and probably on the way to my house in the next week or two. One week later. Here's the car. It starts, it drives. Well, it doesn't know that. We don't know if it drives yet, but it sounds like it will. Here's my jerry rigged idea. Just duct tape the stock map to the intake for now with the stock ECU. Again, this is just to get it out of the garage, get it onto the tow truck, and then get it to my house. Once it gets to the tuner shop, I'll just quickly take this off, put the pop charger back on, put the NIS 2 ECU, have him tune it, make it run just as good as it does right now, because right now it's purring like a kitten. Also, when I get it back home, I'll be wiring up that MSD uh, window switch, but it'll give us time to go ahead and do that once I get it there. Also, there's a little fine tuning to be done here with the cruise bracket and the throttle cable bracket, but again, thanks to local performance, who also makes the skid plate that I have down there I'm about to put on. Uh, his custom cruise control brackets are coming in the mail. I have one for this car and I have one coming for Caesar's car. So we can fit the stilling strut bar on here and I can put the carving strut bar on Caesar's car. Uh, so that's what we're gonna have coming up next. Rob will go ahead and put the car into timing mode. We're gonna set timing now. And we're gonna be all good. We're gonna set it to 15 degrees, Rob? Or do you wanna go with 16? 15? That's usually what I do, okay. So we're gonna set the car to 15 degrees in timing. Uh, we're not gonna advance it any. So anything else done after here will be done at the tuners. Uh, so that's what we got. The car's running again. Duct tape saves lives. Don't judge me yet. Again, it's not gonna stay that way. But we did realize that his Optima battery is pretty dead. So we swapped out with uh, Rob's XB battery real quick to turn it on, but the car idles fantastically. To be honest with you, all the fans work. We're making sure there's no leaks or anything like that. And uh, we should be good to go in just a little bit. Next time you see this car, hopefully it's at West End getting aligned and then at the tuner shop getting tuned. Uh, the car should make anywhere between 185 to 195 horsepower. I don't think our, our our dyno shop runs one of those dynos that increase the numbers. It's not churchy, so uh, the only churches around here is chicken. Damn! So <laughs> we'll, we'll see it next time. We're going to get that done. I'll get everything buttoned up. We'll see it on the ground. So let us get back to work. All right, so we set it to 15 degrees. Rob went ahead and did the whole Nissan rain dance to get it into timing mode. Uh, it rained, it thundered, the skies opened up, and it did its thing. So we set it to 15 degrees. We're good on that end. The duct tape held. Duct tape. Secret weapon right there. So, only temporary. We set the fuel pressure to three bar, uh, which is 43.4 PSI. Of course, we're not gonna be exact, so we got it as close to 44 PSI as we could. But with using the gauge, can you do that? with the vacuum line off, so it's pretty much acting as if it were wide open throttle. So we got that done. Everything seems to be right. We, are, we had already adjusted the TPS voltage to the correct open and close voltage, so that, that, that was already done. The exhaust leak is solved, and that's pretty much it. So now all we have to do is put the skid plate on, uh, put a little more fuel in it, because it is low on fuel. And this project will be done after an alignment and a tune. A deal car, you're gonna get your car soon, buddy. So that's gonna be another interesting video. I'll let you guys know how a deal car found me, actually, and chased me down for months and months at a time. It's a pretty funny story.
so that is pretty much it for now that's gonna be it for this episode guys short video just to let you guys know what's going on with that car there's nothing going on with this car this car is actually gonna get a couple of enhancements and well really just maintenance stuff that needs to be done to it so I'll be helping Rob with that the next time but there's another big project coming it's gonna be a long project it's gonna be quite a bit of videos on it some of you may know what it may be my close friends know not even Robert knows so let's not tell him um, I'm gonna bring more crap into his garage and that is it so I got an appointment with a very important person and that person you will meet on the next video I'll show you guys what's going on hi gotta wave to the neighbors hi right, guys see you next time peace like and subscribe